throw three points and kind of. You know. <laughs> if you just connect three random points, you're going to get something that's not an equilateral triangle. Disconnect them. Uh, low administration. Yes. Can you please remove these two from my class? We're in our circle. You might say, well, there are no circles here, only a blank board. Well, I'm going to draw that circle for you guys. So, let's say we start from over here. Good. All right. And let's call that point O for no reason in particular. So, now, this is going to be the center of our circle. So now I'm just going to construct the circle. Which is pretty easy because all you need is a compass and knowledge of how to use a compass. Of course. All read it. So, Rifat, can you tell me how to construct an equilateral triangle? Yes. And how would you do that, stupid owl who just said yes? You would draw three points and kind of yes. Because it's a triangle. Okay. First of all, look at this. If you just connect three random points, you're going to get something that's not an equilateral triangle. Wee. So don't connect them. No! Okay. Uh, okay. So? Uh, disconnect them. Uh, low administration? Yes. Can you please remove these two from my class? Okay, thank you. So? Uh, inscribed in a circle. So now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a random point over here. Yes, I know I just said a second ago that we can't use random points, but this is less exceptionist. So, this is a point on the circumference, so it will have the distance away of one radius. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to construct six tiny equilateral triangles over here. So, you see this? So, this is what I'm going to call C. Aha, I am about to juke you out. Okay, and now I'm going to put another one over here. So we go from C, so that's the that distance from O. Oh, are you making a hexagon? Uh, no, but that's where we would connect all of these points. Mm. But an equilateral triangle, me amigos, is where we only connect three. Is that right? Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm starting to refrain from calling my students stupid all the time. So, if we take a hexagon and then connect three of its points, you may notice it gives you an equilateral oh. triangle. Thick. Oh wait, is that the true print graph? It has to look like yeah. a, uh, apple. A Star of David? Yeah. So now, you might not expect which point I'm going to put next. You might say E, or even D, or even A. And if you said any of those three, you are stupid. Because, of course, I was going to put B. So, now, let's see. Ugh, it's squishy over here. Ugh. So, now, this is the distance from O to B. So now I'm going to put another point here, which I'm going to name D. Hi, 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 hi. So now I'm going to just repeat this process. So bam, bam. So now you wouldn't guess what I named this one. B2! Alright, so now finally we have our last point 
which I'm going to name, not B3, not C2, ha 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 ha, but as soon as I said, I'm going to name it F. Alright, so now, what do we do? Well, we have a hexagon over here, but we only need to connect three of the points. So, let's connect A and B to, come on, there we go. So let's connect A and B to, then let's connect B to and B, okay. And finally, let's connect A and B. And we've got this equilateral triangle. Thank you, everybody.